Hello to you and happy Wednesday. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It's that time of the afternoon time for your daily tropical briefing, your tropical update. We do this every afternoon all throughout the entire hurricane season. We've still got a long ways to go. Of course, hurricane season goes all the way through the end of November and we're still in June. So still in the first couple of weeks of our hurricane season. Things are fairly quiet out there for the majority of the tropics, but I do want to start off with the air Area where we do have some activity and this is off in the eastern Pacific. Checking out our satellite, you can see south of Puerto Vallarta. We've got some convection here, a little disorganized area of showers and storms. There's a 20% shot that this could turn into a tropical cyclone meaning a tropical depression, potentially a tropical storm or a hurricane over the next 48 hours and there's a chance for development, at least a 20% chance that this would develop for the next seven days as well. Current movement to the west northwest around 10 to 15 miles per hour and you'll notice Houston is up here. This system is moving away from southeast Texas, so we're not concerned about this heading anywhere close to us, so that is good news, but of course we will monitor over into the Atlantic, Western Atlantic, Central Atlantic, Eastern Atlantic, pretty quiet. National Hurricane Center not monitoring any of this activity out here for potential tropical development, at least over the next 48 hours. We've got a few disturbances here, but nothing that is expected to turn into anything of a tropical nature. Down into the Caribbean, same story here. We've got a little band of showers and storms impacting portions of Central America. Most of Cuba quiet, a few thunderstorms in the eastern section of Cuba there, but overall Caribbean pretty quiet at this point. We're not anticipating any major activity up into the Gulf of Mexico. We've got fairly tranquil conditions here as well. We've got a big dome of high pressure in this area. So we've got a lot of storms to the north of the Gulf into portions of Mississippi, Alabama, and parts of central and southern Georgia. A big severe weather outbreak going on up there, but nothing of a tropical variety. So. Gulf of Mexico remains quiet. With that big heat dome or big area of high pressure building over the Houston area, I'm not expecting any tropical activity coming anywhere close to us, at least for the next week to week and a half. If we did get something to develop, that big area of high pressure would help to steer it away from us. However, we do have some very warm sea surface temps out there. We've got some bath water out there. Temps in the 80s as we check out the Gulf. We've got temps in the low to middle 80s as we check out a couple of our buoys there. Into the Caribbean, we've got the temperatures there in the middle 80s. So certainly some very warm water. Water is fairly warm in the Atlantic as well. So we certainly have the warmth of that water to support potential tropical cyclone development, but we just don't have any systems that are showing any signs of quickly developing into a tropical depression, tropical storm, or a hurricane. But of course, that is a good thing. We don't need any of that heading our way because that could mean a big shot for flooding, damaging wind, and a lot of other issues. So certainly we don't have to worry about that for at least the next week or so, but we're still very early in our hurricane season, still in the first couple of weeks. As we get closer to August and especially September, we will likely start to see that activity out in the Caribbean, out in the Gulf, out in the Atlantic start to increase and ramp up. Of course, with the peak being close to the middle of September, then we gradually see that activity start to decrease as we get into October and certainly by November, the number of storms out there going down. But we are anticipating a near normal or near average hurricane season. So just because we don't have much activity out there now, don't let your guard down because we could certainly have some tropical cyclone activity developing at any point. Of course, early on in the season, we did have Arlene to develop, and if we do get another system to become a tropical storm or hurricane, the next name would be Brett. So hopefully we won't have much to talk about in the tropics over the next couple of weeks, over the next couple of months, but I'm sure we will eventually start to get some of those systems forming out there. So we are here to keep you updated day by day to let you know exactly what is cooking, what's happening out in the tropics. And of course, if you head to the App Store and search for Fox 26, if you haven't already, you can grab and download our Fox 26 weather app. All sorts of useful, very helpful, critical information on there, including a way to get watches and warnings. If we do have hurricane watches, warnings or advisories to come out, 
You could quickly get those with our Fox 26 weather app. Of course, you can get any other tropical weather updates, forecast cones, our follow me feature. Plus, of course, any local weather happening. Of course, the big story locally, the heat wave. So you can get all of that info as well with Houston currently under a heat advisory all the way through Thursday evening. So nothing happening in the tropics that will be impacting Southeast Texas anytime soon. But of course, we will be here every day to keep you updated. Once again, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Stay safe out in the heat and enjoy your evening.